Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a simple doodle flower and turn it into a beautiful painted piece of art. So I'm going to show you how I take a simple doodle flower and turn it into a beautiful but simple painted flower in Procreate. You can take your painted art and use it as its own piece of art. You can use them as toss patterns or you can even make a beautiful bordered pattern out of them. Lots of ideas, so let's get going. So I'm going to start with this simple doodle that I've drawn in Procreate. I just used a basic pen brush and I drew a simple flower on my canvas. So what we're going to do to start with is we're going to duplicate, lock it down, and turn it off. This one is our backup. I'm always big on backups because if you get going down the road and you're creating, you may find that you um, mess up your original drawing and if you want to go back it's not there anymore. So it's always good to have a backup of your original sitting at the bottom of your project locked down so you can't do anything to it. So the first thing that we're going to do is add a new layer. We're going to touch our original layer and up shows our option menu. We're going to choose reference at the bottom. This means that anything I do on any other layer will always reference back to this specific layer that has my flower on it. So go to your new layer and choose white. It doesn't have to be white, but we're going to choose white today because I want my colors to, to be pure and stand out. I have a white in my palette, but if you're looking for one, the hex code is all F's or you can go in your classic. It's in the very top left. So I have my white. I'll turn off my background here so that you can see what's happening. And I'm going to put the white onto this layer by dragging it in. So that's a fill. That's like your bucket fill. And it fills everything according to this layer. So even though this was a blank layer, it's referencing this layer. So it only fills where the flower pieces do not exist. So if I turn that off, you have this nice stencil of your flower. Now this I will use as my background, but this isn't the main one. It's a step towards getting my flower. So I'm going to turn off my reference so it doesn't interfere anymore. And I'm going to go to the new layer with the white. And I'm going to get my options to come up. And I'm going to choose select. So now it has selected everything that is white. But I want it to select where the flower is. So touch my screen to turn the layer box off, but keep this menu up. And in this menu, I want to choose invert. Now it's selecting the flower pieces. That's what I want it to select. I'm going to create a new layer and I'm going to go in and I'm going to choose the fill layer this time. And it fills everything that was selected. So now if I turn that off, you can see I have a nice white um, image silhouette of the flower that I drew. That's what I'm going to work with. So I have my background off so that you can see that because I did choose white. You could choose a colored um, background as well, a color for your flower, and then just paint over that. It would be like painting on a colored piece of paper. But for day today's purpose, I'm just going to choose a pure white. So we're going to create a new layer. We're going to touch that layer and we're going to choose clipping mask. So now the clipping mask is where we're going to paint. So let's choose a color and I'll go back into my palette. So I'm going to choose something nice and bright. Let's choose pink. Go into my brushes and I'm going to choose the watercolor brush here. It's under the artistic folder in Procreate and it comes with the Procreate app. It's native to this version. And I'm going to go ahead in and start painting. So making sure I'm on my clipping layer, I'm just going to start to paint. And you'll see it is only painting on the pieces of the flower because it's clipping to whatever's underneath it. So in a way it's referencing it as well, but what the clipping mask does, it's only going to show up on whatever it's clipped to. So if I were to turn my background back on because it's pure white, it is almost like the flower is just appearing out of nowhere. And that's because it's only painting again on the layer that it's clipped to, which is the flower itself. So I'm going to turn that background off again and you can see my nice pink flower. You can make sure you didn't miss any parts. And we can turn it on to brighten it up a little. And now you can create multiple layers as well, multiple clipping masks. So add another layer, and then when you touch it, choose clipping mask. So now I have two clipping masks over top of this. So these little arrows tell you where it's clipping to, and it's clipping to whatever regular layer is right underneath it. So let's go in and choose another color, and I'm gonna choose orange. 
Now you could do this on the same layer, but the nice thing about creating a new layer and you can have multiple layers of clipping masks is that if I decide I don't like it, all I have to do is clear it or delete it. I don't, I didn't mess up what I already had and what I already liked. So now I'm on the next layer with the orange and we're going to go ahead and again, it's only painting on that nice white flower we have it clipped to. And we got some nice color working in there and some nice texture. So if I'm happy with that, I can merge those together. So I just uh, touch on the top one and choose merge down. Now my orange and my pink are on the same layer. Um, I haven't merged them down yet because I'm actually going to go in and use my eraser tool. I'm going to choose in the organic folder, I'm going to choose cotton as if I just had a cotton rag. And I'm going to start dabbing some of that color out. So this is the eraser tool I have now and I've got it set on a texture. And I can just take some of that color back out and I can give it a little more of a washed look. So there's my flower. I'm happy with it. Now it's, it's on a clipping mask that clips to another flower. So if I were to unclip it again, I have this painted background and I want them to be one. So I go back in and I clip it. And then if I'm happy with it, I can merge it down and it becomes one with the flower. It is now its own complete object that I can transform. So we'll take that back because I want to show you how I use the background as well. So you can make multiple colors of those flowers. You can just repeat that process and you can do blue flowers, green flowers, whatever you want. So now I'm going to turn on my background of my flower. So let's turn off our main background because again, we're working on white. And I'm going to choose a color that I want for my background. And again, I'm going to do a watercolor paint. So let's choose a green and we're going to choose our watercolor brush and choosing our flower background. We're going to add a layer above it, choose the clipping mask. And now wherever I paint will only paint on this white. It's not going to paint on the flower. So it's not going to paint under the flower or on the flower at all, because there are times when you're using translucent or textured brushes, the color from underneath might come through and you don't want that to taint the colors you're already working with. So this is kind of handy because it knows that it will not paint anywhere where that flower is. So let's start doing some painting here. And you can see that it isn't changing the color of my flower at all. It's just adding a nice color into the background. And let's add in a little bit of uh, blue. Let's go a little darker there, get some texture going. So now you can see I'm just painting and I have a nice textured background now. And if I'm happy with that, let's actually go in and use our cotton on that as well. So I did that one all on one layer. I didn't need to do it on separate layers. I was just, oops, that's a little too much taking out. Be careful you don't take all your color out with the eraser. And I'm just trying to texturize here with a little bit of the eraser. And it's only again affecting the background, not my flower. See, no effect on the flower. So if I'm happy with that, then I can merge that into the background. And now my whole background is on one layer and I can work with that as well. And there you have a painted flower on a painted background using the clipping masks in Procreate from Your Simple Doodle. Thanks so much for joining me in this tutorial. And remember, if you don't want to miss any tutorials, be sure to subscribe to my channel. So go create, have fun, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.